Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I hope you're doing great today as always. Uh, it has been a hot minute since I got a chance to play and record. This week, week has been unexpectedly busy for me, so I do apologize if this episode comes out a little bit later than I anticipated. But we are back in Mass Effect 2 again, and uh, we just got done with recruiting Samara in the last episode, so right now I don't quite know what is waiting for me once I exit this door, but I have every crew member that I can talk to that uh, I need to visit. I need to check back on what I have for upgrades, and I'm gonna cough right now. Excuse me. <laughs> anyway. Um, I don't know if I'm going to be called on an inevitable mission right now or if I still have the chance to go back to Ilium because I have some, well actually probably quite a bit of unfinished business over there. So uh, let's uh, walk out of this door and uh, figure out what's next for us. Let's go chat with Joker. See what he says. Hopefully he's got some opinions to share. Or maybe his relationship with Edie had developed a little bit further. So, Commander, even your Asari are trained killers? Get everyone at the same store or something? <laughs> I assume everything's going well up here? Good for now. Fractured my thumb on the mute, but I think I made my point. Okay. <clears throat> That's it for now. See you, Commander. Same line for now. Uh... ED hasn't chimed in. So let's check out what Kelly, Kelly, Kelly says. Hello. There is nothing more absolute than the oath of an Asari Justicar. We did well getting Samara on our side. She is so elegant and gorgeous. Too bad her manner is just so cold. You're prettier. Uh, it's, I don't know. It's subjective, I guess. <laughs> sure. I didn't recruit her for her looks. The Normandy already has you, Kelly. You are just too sweet. <laughs> anyway, what's up? That was some unabashed flattery. Is there anything I should know? You have unread messages at your private terminal. Garrus received some news that put fire in his eyes. Maybe you should speak with him down in the main battery. Anything else, Commander? Okay, she didn't That'll say... Good luck out there, Shepard. That the elusive man needs to talk to me. Message at your private terminal. That's good. You changed my life. From Jert? Greetings, Commander Shepard. Liara Tassoni gave me your contact information. I was one of the cleaning crew in the Dantius Tower. You helped me out of there. According to Tassoni, you also found Thane. He took down some of the Eclipse Mercs trying to gun us down. And I wondered if you could pass along my thanks. The way he moved, one was dead before they even knew he was there. He snapped another's neck, then shot a third, all in the space of a few heartbeats. It was incredible. He moved like a dancer, grace and power in constant motion. Seeing him changed my life. Woke up something in me that I don't fully understand yet. I don't know what I'm going to do, but Salarian lives are too short to waste with custodians. Especially when there's so much out else out there. I'm going to find something that lets me capture what I saw in him. That beauty, that aesthetic perfection. Damn. I'm also going to buy some nice clothes. Okay. So if you could tell him that, or just whatever parts of you that you think are appropriate, I'd appreciate it. Yeah, he probably doesn't need to know about the clothes part. <laughs> okay. Well, that's good news. That means we should be able to return to Ilium. Uh, you probably don't want to talk to me yet, but let's see. Nothing that I can put on here yet. Ooh, biotic damage. Yes, I did get that. And that'll be mighty helpful. <laughs> Biotic cooldown. Look at that. 
It's all for element zero. Should I check out the... No, I don't have any ship enhancements. Let's uh, go chat with Samara. Uh, calm room, that's not where I intended to go. Elevator is where I wanted to go, actually. Commander, I think you'll want to talk to Garrus. Yeah. Um. I'm just gonna go and check if she fed my fish or not. I. Or should I just trust her? Because she said she would. Oh, I don't know. Okay. Crew quarters is getting very populated. Oh goody. Life support is where Thane is. Let's go chat with him. Do you need something? Uh have a few minutes to talk? Certainly. If you don't mind my saying, you don't really seem like an assassin. You've spent too much time fighting thugs who think custom-painted armor makes them professionals. The Hanar trained my body for this role since I was six years old. Why did they do that? You've been killing since you were six? Of course not. I didn't make my first kill until I was twelve. Oh, that changes training. everything. I was not to be used and thrown away. I was an investment. You were a child, not an investment. I've given you the wrong idea. They valued me, yes, as a resource, but also as a person. They regretted their need for me. The Hanar? Excessively polite, worship the Protheans? That's what I'm saying! They don't seem the type who train assassins. Every species trains assassins. The Hanar are only unusual in that they need other species to do the killing for them. They have a strong grip and natural toxins, but... Have you ever seen one move quickly outside of water? Or fire a gun? Good point, but... Why did your parents agree to this? The agreement was made under the Compact. It was an honor for our family. The Compact? We live on the Hanar homeworld because they rescued us. Some of us from extinction. We owe them our lives. That is the Compact. Okay. What exactly are the terms of the Compact? There are many things the Hanar can't do, even with mechanical aid. They ask Drell to assist them. That... I... I don't agree with this, but I'm gonna say it anyway. This can't be legal. They made your whole race into slaves. Don't insult me, Shepard. Anyone can refuse to serve. Few do. We owe our existence to the Hanar. We are proud to repay the debt. Like wimps? Come on. Why was your race going extinct? Overpopulation. That must sound trite to you. Humans developed mass effect drive before the problem became acute. Our homeworld, Rakana, had few resources. <clears throat> we hadn't even developed fusion power when the soil began to fail from overuse and pollution. The Hanar found us a century ago. They sent hundreds of ships, evacuated thousands of us. Billions more had to be left behind. Oof. What's the state of Rakana now? Do you read your philosophers? A man named Thomas Hobbes. When all the world is overcharged with inhabitants, and the last remedy of all is war, which provideth for every man by victory or death. As Rakana died around them, my people slaughtered each other for mouthfuls of water, crumbs of food. Yikes. But you don't kill for the Hanar anymore. You're freelance. What changed? I was asleep for a long time, yes. I paid no attention to what my body was asked to do, but then... A laser dot trembles on the skull. One finger twitch, he dies. Then, the smell of spice in the spring wind. Sunset-colored eyes defiant in the scope. The laser dances away. My apologies. Drell slip into memory so easily. Whoa! Was that one of your assassinations? Ah... Uh, Yes. Perhaps we can discuss it later. I've wasted too much of your time. Mysterious past. Ooh. 
Okay, so you don't want to talk to me. Unless... Do you need something? Have a few minutes to talk? Later. I'd like to consider what we've already discussed. Okay. Mind if I ask you a few questions? Not at all. I think I already asked this. We need for to have this. the best equipment possible to take on the Collectors. You have any leads I could chase down? I've already upgraded the Normandy's exploration probes. I have no additional suggestions. Yeah, I did. I should go. I shall return to my meditations. Please do. Men's restroom. Perfect. Uh, Kasumi, gotcha. Starboard. Samara, there you are. Ooh, wow. What a view. Shepard. Uh huh. How are you? I've spent much of the last 400 years on my own. It is nice to have a colleague to chat with. I may be rusty at it, however. If you are patient, I would love to talk. How much do you know about our mission? I know that I've sworn an oath to follow you, and that you seek to destroy the Collectors. That is enough for me. Huh. You don't want to know why the Collectors need to be fought? When you live by a code that compels you to harsh action, you learn the dangers of curiosity. If I must kill a man because he has done wrong, do I really wish to know that he is a devoted father? Wouldn't that influence your judgment about what kind of wrong he did? I'd like to hear more about the criminal you were chasing on Nos Ostra. I hope you will understand if I wish to avoid this topic. It is deeply tied to my code and beliefs. You might say it is personal. I need to know if this will impact the mission. It will not. Hmm. Concise. What do you think of Cerberus? I've heard rumors, but learned long ago to form my own impressions. There is too much room for interpretation in the opinions of others. Why were you willing to work for Cerberus when you didn't have first-hand knowledge? I work for you, Shepard. Mm -hmm. Our methods may be different, but our goals are not. Okay. I should get back to work. It has been my pleasure, Commander. I'm actually not quite done talking to you. <laughs> um... Do that. Shepard, do you have any suggestions about using some of the resources we've gathered? I believe I can use some of them to increase our fuel reserves so we can explore further. Ooh. Shall I tell you what is required? Yes, please. Show me what it would take. Element zero. Hmm. Biggers. Shepard. What are your impressions of Miranda and Jacob? Jacob is an earnest young man. Events will either forge him into a great man or utterly destroy him. That's probably Miranda true. Miranda is undoubtedly a hard woman. I respect her strength and determination. She carries many burdens and doesn't share them with others, as it should be. Huh. Kinship? How do you think our mission is going? Building our forces is a good strategy. However, the time to strike is coming soon. Fair. How are you? Perhaps we could speak later. I wish to meditate. I should go. Of course. Okay. Don't want to go to the restroom, thank you very much. Um... <clears throat> the commander has put together an impressive team. I've never worked with so many aliens before. They're a small army. We might just pull this mission off. <laughs> I like that they're hopeful. You Shepard, finally want to talk to me, huh? I've got something. I may need your help. You remember Sidonis, the one who betrayed my team? I found a lead on him. There's a specialist on the Citadel named Fade. 
He's an expert at helping people disappear. Sedonis was seen with him. Very apt name for that job. What happened? How did Sidonis betray your team? He tipped off the mercs, told them where our base was. He drew me out with a false job, then let the mercs hit my team. My men weren't prepared. They tried to hold them off. By the time I got back, there were only two survivors. They didn't last long. All ten of them dead. Because of him. What are you planning to do when you find him? You humans have a saying. An eye for an eye, a life for a life. He owes me ten lives, and I plan to collect. I don't blame him. You sure that's how you want to play it? I'm sure. I don't need you to agree with me, but I'd like your help. That... That kind of response is a very different one from uh, Mass Effect 1, and I... I kind of appreciate that. Like, yeah. You, you know what you want. Follow it. Where do we find Fade? I've arranged a meeting. We'll meet him in a warehouse near the Neon Markets down on Zakara Ward. Thanks, Shepard. I appreciate you taking the time to help me. Okay, so that's an Omega? Citadel. Never mind. I don't know my spots very well yet. Okay, so... Uh, that should be good. So why don't we try to go back to Ilium and uh, finish our dealings with Liara? Since we didn't really get to do that last time. No messages for you, Commander. Thank you. Oh wait, there were more upgrades for me to do. Because I took a break, a break to figure out what do I have uh, shipwise. Biotic cooldown, yes! None of that, none of that. And nothing of use here. Okay, now we can go. And I better take some biotics with me, I guess. I also have Miranda's mission on Ilium, and I... It probably won't let me do both. So let's just go and finish what I actually had in mind, and then we can go back. Alright, I wanted to try Samara, obviously. And... Let's see what else, or who else. Should I do him? He was kind of fun. Hmm. I want Tali too, though. Yeah, let's do that. I really like her drone, honestly. Disruptor ammo. Okay, so what do you do? Throw. Hurls enemies through the air using a powerful biotic shield or field. Pardon me. That pool. Generate a mass effect field that levitates a target. Those can't be combined, can they? Reeve. Biotically attacks the target nervous or synthetic system and disables any health regeneration. When used against organics, this field regenerates the biotic's health and provides a temporary health bonus. Interesting. Reeve also does double damage to armor and barriers. That is really cool, and it would be really awesome to get it. I think this is the one that I get after a loyalty mission, right? Alright, obviously we're doing this. Can I just do that? There. 
Uh, biotic abilities are not, uh, now rival those of an Asari matriarch, further reducing the recharge time of her powers. Samara's time is spent honing her lethal skills, increasing her weapon damage. Oh no, I like this a lot more. Alright, so let's get a throw in here. And a couple of pulls. Oof. Don't know which one I like more. Now let's do... Well, that doesn't really damage them, it just in incapacitates them. Which is nice, but still. Yeah, let's do that. Tali... Yes, we can get a drone. Attack drone or explosive drone? You have upgraded the combat drone, so it's electric shock damages, targets health, armor, and biotic barriers. That's awesome. Uh, more duration, recharge time. Okay. Health bonus, nice. And damage 40. Your combat drone is rigged to explode when destroyed, pulsing energy that inflicts high damage on all nearby enemies. I... I kind of like this. Yeah, I like that. Let's see what can we do here. Incinerate. Double AI hacking. Hmm. No, I think I would go for this instead. Although, wait, what does this do? Or what does the end of that do? Freezes targets more frequently for a longer duration, or your entire squad gains the cryo ammo effects, letting you incapacitate large groups of relentlessly hammer one target. Okay. Electromagnetic properties can cause synthetics to critically overload and explode. That's very awesome. Uh, okay. Allowing you to catch synthetics and deadly crossfires. That would be really nice. What about the top incinerate? This advanced plasma blast burns through nearly anything it hits. Incineration blast. The splash zone of on this plasma blast is increased, allowing you to scorch multiple targets. Damn it! Gives AI hacking a wide area of effect, so multiple synthetics can be hacked at once, or greatly increases the duration of all hacking and the strength of the shield given to the hacked target. Goody! Don't particularly like the grenades, to be honest, at least so far. Maybe I didn't really get a good taste of them. Um, let's go for this. I like, I would like it if everyone in my squad could get cryo ammo. Cause it does seem to be a lot more universal than disruptor, although I do like it a lot. That's all, right? Yeah, that's all we can spend. Sources indicate you were in a warehouse recently. Did you by any chance forward a questionable shipping note to a Mr. Thax? I did. It looks suspicious, so I passed it on. I'm a representative for Mr. Thax. He's very grateful to you. Please accept this as a gift for bringing the shipping irregularities to his attention. 
What happens to the shipping agent who was cheating Thax? That depends on how sincere her apology is. Huh? And how willing she is to correct her mistake. Do you want help finding the person who cheated Thax? Thank you, but that won't be necessary. Mr. Thax will be making a series of polite calls. Hopefully a confrontation will not be required. Is Mr. Thax also Krogan? Because I am kind of impressed with how this one speaks. Is this species? It was my pleasure. Have a pleasant day. Very diplomatic for a Krogan. Okay. Not bad, I guess. All right. Um journal. Oh, man. I keep putting those off. All right, I for an I don't need this. This is the one that I do need. Report to Liara. Perfect. We can do that. Alrighty. It's funny that I'm bringing Samara back to Ilium. You should try it my way. Look at how the wind's blowing. After all of that time that uh, that police lady spent on trying to get rid of her. Hello. Hello, How's Commander you? Shepard. Liara will be pleased to see you. Thank I'll you. I'll talk to you later. Of course, Commander. Hello, Missy. Shepard, it's good to see you again. Thank you for getting me that system data. Here, it's not much, but hopefully it will help you on your mission. Do you remember the Shadow Broker? With the data you got me, I may be able to find information caches from his agents. Who is that? Oh, come on, Shepard, you know that. I've got a lot on my plate. Remind me who the Shadow Broker is. He's the most powerful and dangerous information broker in the galaxy. No one knows who he is. Given his resources, there's speculation he may actually be a group operating under one name. That would make sense. Are you on the run from the Shadow Broker? I can help you. Actually, it would be more accurate to say that the Shadow Broker is on the run from me. We crossed paths not long after you died. Since then, I've been working to take him down. With this data, I'm a step closer. Wow, Liara. You can't come with me because you're after the Shadow Broker? What if I help you find him? I'm sorry, Shepard. The galaxy doesn't work that way. I need to find leads, trace information. I need to work. I can't do that on the Normandy. I wish I could. I've never seen you ready to execute someone in cold blood. What did the Shadow Broker do to you? I was on a job with a friend. The Shadow Broker's people caught us. My friend didn't escape. I don't know if he's dead or being interrogated. But I need to find him. I owe him my life. And I need to make the Shadow Broker pay for what he did. Should I be worried? Good luck with your plan. Can I not help? Let me know if there's anything else I can do. Thanks, Shepard. I will. Now, is there anything else I can help you with? How's your own work going? The data you gave me was extremely helpful. It gave me a target. The Shadow Broker has several contacts here on Ilium. The most powerful is someone called the Observer. Taking down the Observer will put me closer to the Shadow Broker. I could use your help. This is garbage? What? Damn it, Liara, I came to talk to you, not help with your petty vendettas. I'm so <sighs> close, Shepard. I've been hunting for almost two years now. I can't do this without you. I don't have the technical skill to reconstruct the data, and the Shadow Broker only refers to his agents by race and profession. My inquiries have narrowed the Observer down to one of five operatives. A Turian, a Salarian, a Krogan, a Batarian, and a Vorcha. If you can refine the list, I'll know where to strike. Okay. Are there any specifics on these agents? 
I'm afraid not. Nixeris was lucky to get as much as she did. I was happy to help, ma'am. The data is our only hope of determining which one is the Observer. And if we wait too long, they'll all disappear. Oh, I won't do it? But... I, I want to. <sighs> I'll reconstruct the data and tell you what I find. Thank you, Shepard. When you find something, call me on the radio channel we used in the old days. I can't risk handling this in person. I'll talk to you later, Liara. Okay, then. Help Liara later? Here it goes. Okay. The Observer. Find the data fragments on hackable terminals around Ilium. So I need to go back to that store area then, I would think. Ooh, wait, what, what, Samara? Increase. Where was that? And speed. I have extremely high performance requirements. Safe too. I need a 100% safety Where guarantee of anything going on to here? my suit. Here? Here? The people here are asked to sacrifice their own convictions and beliefs in exchange for a soulless corporate identity. I understand that kind of life would be attractive to some people, but not to me. Uh, yeah. Ooh, there's one. Where is it though? Here. Gosh, the, the blue square on the blue screen is really hard to see. This is the one. Data point three. The Turian's asking too many questions. Observer recommends terminating him and framing framing assassin or Solarian contract contact. Ooh. Shepard, did you get any information on the observer? Kill. Not yet. Let me search for more data. I'll get back to you. Thank you. Let me know what you find. So... Turian can be discarded. Can we also discard the Salarian since both of them were mentioned in there? Okay, well, let's, uh... I guess check out what we got here. Where is this going? Hello. I'm gonna have that asshole arrested. Yeah, let's talk to you. Watch yourself if you go in there. Some human is causing trouble. He's demanding that I sign the place over to him. I'll be careful. Or you could kill him. You know, legally, in self-defense. I'd make a really good witness. Failing that, I'm hooking up security cameras now. If he or anybody else causes trouble, I'll have their asses arrested. Why don't you do that already? Fears of an uncontrolled plague in the streets of Omega have been laid to rest as the disease is now under control. Okay. Can I talk to you again? No? Alright. Oh! This is the place that I haven't been to yet. I don't think so. Eternity bar. Bachelor party? I still don't see why we're here. Solarians do not get married. My family simply negotiated a reproduction contract. Whatever. It's the closest you guys get to a wedding. And that means you get a bachelor party. End of story. <laughs> okay. Yes. You're really holding out on me? I'm a man on the edge. I got nothing to lose. Conrad. I'll do anything to get the job done. I'll go all the way without a second thought. Uh -huh. 
No. Okay, data point three. A smuggler and assassin have refused to work with the Vorta due to lack of trust. Odd to see scruples from the men at this point. Huh. That doesn't really tell me much. Conrad Werner. I don't want to talk to you, but I think I kind of have to. You want to see how far I'll go? I learned how to shove a gun in people's faces from Commander Shepard? Hey, if you know this idiot, can you rein him in before I slap his ass with a singularity? Shepard? Is it really you? It's me, Conrad Werner. We met on the Citadel? I wanted to become a specter? Oh, uh, and then you shoved a gun in my face? You showed me what it meant to be truly extreme. I learned that lesson well. So you're alive, huh? You did not learn that lesson well. Why don't you sit back and watch how it's done? I got some asses to kick. Conrad, why are you acting like me? What are you crazy? I'm nothing like you. I'm not a specter working for the council. I'm on my own, backed only by my wits and my nerves. No rules, no laws, just whatever it takes to get the job done. I'm not like you at all. Yeah, what happened to you? Conrad, do you have any actual combat training? I'm saving the galaxy, Shepard. I don't have time for training. Don't you get it? You were a big jerk. But you saved the galaxy and showed other races that humans mattered. And then you died. The galaxy needed someone like you, Shepard. We all did. I had to do something. Cosplay? How'd you get that armor? Oh, they make some pretty convincing replicas these days, if you're willing to pay. Getting the whole getup was pretty expensive, but my wife was really supportive. She even paid for my shuttle fare off-world. I wonder why. So you just wander the galaxy righting wrongs? Hey, don't say it like that. I talk to people, you know? Ask them if they have big problems that only I can solve. You'd be surprised how many people are just waiting for someone to talk to them. Sometimes I poke through crates, too. You know, for extra credits. That really makes me sound trivial. Any decent security system will detect that you aren't in the military, much less part of my squad. I just say that I'm deep cover and don't appear on systems. I'm doing the best I can, okay? You were a hero. You saved the galaxy and showed everyone what humanity could do. And then you died. The galaxy needed someone like you, Shepard. We all did. I had to do something. Wow. Why were you trying to get the deed to this place? This place is actually a front for a red sand dealer. I need to take it over to crack the ring. What? Who the hell told you that? The owner of that weapons store near the carport? She's an undercover cop. She told me about it when I introduced myself. Listen, crap for brains. First, we don't sell red sand. Second, red sand is legal on Ilium. You just need a license. <laughs> I'll talk to this undercover cop and figure out what's going on. Thank you. If I kill annoying customers, it usually causes property damage. That comes out of my pay. Just let me know if you need any help, Shepard. Yeah, no thank you, Conrad. Thanks for taking care of that crazy guy. Saves me having to beat him to death with his own spine. <laughs> that makes the other customers nervous. I'd anyway, say. This is Eternity, and I'm Athena, a sorry matriarch and bartender. Get you anything? Matriarch? You're an Asari matriarch? I thought matriarch served as honored advisors. Right. Which I do here at this bar. I know. Not what you'd expect. But nobody on Thessia wanted to listen to my wise counsel, so here I am. Dad was a Krogan who fought in the Rachni Wars. My mother fought in the Krogan rebellions. I've pretty much seen it all. Damn, girl. Your mother fought in the Krogan Rebellions? I don't know whether she fought. She scouted, sniped a few people, and blew up a couple of space stations. You know, commando stuff. She'd put the old commando leathers on for special nights with Dad. Goddess, that was embarrassing. 
You said your father fought in the Rachni Wars? Yeah, when he was young. Love showing off his war scars. Krogan think they're sexy. Me, I go for asses. When I was a girl, he'd tell me about landing on this poison-filled world and stomping a Rachni queen at a muck. Scientists say all that stuff about us getting genetic material from the father is crap. Seems like I got a bit of his mouth, though. <laughs> if your mother fought in the rebellions and your father was a Krogan, didn't that cause tension? They didn't meet until a few hundred years after the Turians put the boot in with the damn genophage. As far as either one knew, they were both just warriors. Dad boasted. Mom stayed quiet. Mom was a matriarch herself. Dad was near on a thousand when the truth came out. Oof. What happened when he found out? I was about a hundred, shaking my ass in some sleazy bar. They got me on the link, told me that they were gonna have it out, and made me promise to love whichever one survived. Jeez. Turned out to be damn easy, since neither one did. Family, huh? What a kick in the quad. Oh my god. What's it like living for nearly a thousand years? Violent. Wars break out. Colonies get destroyed. Sometimes you hear good news, like that colony on Pharaoh surviving. That's the exception, though. You find peace in whatever arms will hold you. Turian, Elcor, Hanar. Even had a pure-blood daughter. I was the father. Didn't work out. And one day you wake up, your figure's gotten matriarchal, and everyone else is too young to remember how the Quarians looked inside those suits. a matriarch in a bar serving drinks. It's better than what most other matriarchs are doing. Look at that screw-up with Saren and his geth a few years back. Her ships yeah. were hanging bare-assed in space when Saren started shooting. If not for you humans, we would have bought it right there. And I warned him. Told people on Thessia what was coming and they didn't want to hear it. What didn't they want to hear? That art and philosophy and political prowess wasn't gonna cut it. We can't go a single Asari lifetime without some big war breaking out. We need to get our daughters working earlier, not spending their wild maiden years stripping or in merc bands. When I started talking about making new mass relays ourselves, they laughed the blue off my ass. So now, I serve drinks. Okay. Thanks for telling All me right. about that. Alright, that's, that's what quite I'm a story. For, Get you anything else? No. Just looking around. Right. Don't eat the nuts in the Red Bulls. They're for Turians and Quarians. You'll get cramps. <laughs> Good advice. Alright, what else do we got? Conrad. I don't know if I can do so anything with you. Says, oh, it's okay. Our amino acids are all different. So it's not like we can get diseases or anything if we go natural. I'm telling you, <laughs> this is why you shouldn't date humans. So then, I had to explain about cross-species fluid contact. Completely killed the mood. Not to mention that you're a Quarian. How could he be so insensitive? <laughs> Lantea. Lantea. Excuse me, I'm waiting for someone. Okay. So that's probably a future quest. You deserve somebody who respects you. Somebody who's going to treat you right. Is he a nice guy? I'm going to stop dating for a while. No, don't do that. Don't let some human spoil you. It's always the same thing. Ooh, she could get sick. She's vulnerable. I wonder what she looks like under the helmet. You'll find someone out there who cares about you for who you are. Someone whose food you can eat even. Like those red nuts? <laughs> All right. I found myself distracted again. Now let's see. Got this data point and Do you have anything flashier? What was it in here? Find weapons merchant. Talk to the Asari weapons merchant to find out why she lied to Conrad. She probably got too annoying. I own this room. I own you. All right, let's do this. Uh. Ooh. 
Oof. Something's itchy. I went right over one to land on the other. Okay, data point four. Turian contact working well with the trader. Observer has rescinded kill order against him, given difficulty in securing contact with the trader through other methods. Right. Okay. And let's see, who else do we have in there? Oh, that doesn't help. Okay, well, we're going to keep looking. 25. Sell at 25. <laughs> no, no, no. You're oh, not another. Me. I want to buy yes. it up. Buy it all. Okay. Got this. Oh, shoot. This one. A uh, trader tried to kill the Batarian, claims it was because he hates slavers, but the men were more likely fighting over money. Watch for now. <sighs> okay, well. Are you shorting we will keep looking. I did it after Got this one already, right? Yeah. Is there any more? Let's move on for now and see if we can find any more of those. Like this. Okay. Nope. Nope. And nope again. Orcha Trader has requested no further contact with the Salarian. Salarian is becoming more trouble than he's worth. Observer recommends a kill, but she may have a grudge. So Observer has a grudge against a Salarian, and Vorcha is the traitor. Five of the suspects are male. The observer is female. Something's not right. Who gave you this lead? My assistant, Nick Saris. She got the information. Nick Saris gave me the information. Nick Saris, could I see you in here for a moment? Shepard, I'll talk to you later. So I was um, kind of browsing through the tips that I already have, thinking that I would go to call Liara and see if I'm missing any more of the races, and uh, I stumbled on this, which I actually also caught, but... So, I guess here we are. Nixeris is our culprit. Anyway, we found that out on accident, almost, and this is a little bit embarrassing. But at least I can tell you guys that I did catch the female part. You'll never believe what happened. I've got the data. Don't ask, just call it a gift. Just spread the word. The family will be okay. No. Tana, I don't need you. Wait, are you you're not the weapons trader. 
I know the weapons trader. She was dismissing me before. You can sell something that dangerous with just a contract and a waiver? Yeah, she was right These here. The Hello. You're... Can I help you with something? I talked to an old friend, Conrad Werner. You told him that the Eternity Lounge was selling red sand. Oh, you're Conrad's friend. Yes, that place is really dangerous. I should know. I'm an undercover cop. Did you get me the deed to the bar? I need the deed to, uh, stop the red sand dealers. Right. Someone got kicked out of a bar and wants to get back in, huh? I softened up the bar owner, but you need to go in and finish them off. Really? Are you sure? Absolutely. You just need to close the deal. Go in, be tough, and let them know you're with me. They'll hand the deed right over. Wow, great. Here, I'll set you up for a discount. Thanks for the help. Is the discount still gonna be there when this gets uncovered? Whatever, I guess I'm still gonna buy it. What's this? <laughs> okay. Not a lot of money left, but also not a lot of goods to left to buy. Something that'll last. You'll make okay. sure she keeps it. Yeah. I'll make sure. Now, do we go back to the bar? Return to Conrad, okay. Alright, we're back at the bar. See what Conrad says now. Damn it, this is just a misunderstanding! Tell it to the judge. My surveillance vids caught your extortion attempt from four different angles. <laughs> I was misled! I was told that you had agreed to sell! Take her away, before I have my bartender throw her out. <laughs> well, that worked out. Hello, Conrad. What happened? The undercover cop from the weapons kiosk just got arrested. It was a sting. I don't... You blew her cover. Oh. Man. Would that make him stop? I wonder. She wasn't a cop. She was a deep cover operative from a terrorist cell. I'd never have found her if not for you. Really? Really. really? You did a great job, Conrad. Now please, go home. Let me take it from here. Can do, Shepard. And thanks. It's really good to have you back. <laughs> oh, goody. <laughs> Um, can I talk to you now? You're the owner, right? Excuse me, I'm waiting. No. Alright, well, I think that's done, right? Yeah. So now we can go back to Liara. Yes, return to Liara. Perfect. Man, I so funny that I have to bring it up now because I was thinking it before but uh, during our last conversation with Liara I was just curious like uh, she trusts that woman kind of implicitly All right. and I Let's in my it. mind I was like I hope you know her well enough to just give out all of your information to her like that and clearly that is not quite the case. Where is she? What'd you do with her? Should, uh, check. Shepard, it's good to see you again. Nixeras had some interesting data hidden away. Thank you, Shepard. I wouldn't have caught her without you. I'm one step closer to the Shadow Broker thanks to you. Here. Nixeras was very well compensated. You need it more than I do. Ish. Did you have any trouble with Nixeras? She was very talented. I imagine that had she been ordered to assassinate me, I had never seen her coming. But her barriers needed practice. Practice I'm afraid she won't be getting. Hmm. Yeah. What's the next step in your hunt? Now I gather information, peel away layers of lies, and shine light into the shadows. 
And when I find the Shadow Broker, I hit him with a biotic field so strong that what's left of his body will fit into a coffee cup. Girl. Is there anything else you need from me? No. You've done enough. If I find anything useful, I'll let you know. For now, I need to do what I do. Now, is there anything else I can help you with? Let's get the Shadow Broker. I think is what we're gonna do. I know you're looking for the Shadow Broker. Cerberus gave me data on where to find him. Interested? Absolutely. I had no idea. Let me see what you've got. It looks like a leaked transmission between Shadow Broker operatives. Some hints as to the location and... It's about Farron. He's still alive. Oh. Who's Farron? That's another guy. He was a friend. He helped me recover your body from the Shadow Broker. Why did the Shadow Broker want my corpse? He was going to sell you to the Collectors, but Farron and I stopped him. Farron sacrificed himself to save me. So, you rescued me. Then how did I end up with Cerberus? Well, they gave me intel to help recover you. They actually put Farron with me in the first place. After I got out, I gave you to them. They said they could bring you back. That's actually very sweet of her. You kept me out of the Collector's hands. Without you, I couldn't have come back. Thank you. You don't know what that means to me, Shepard. I didn't know who you'd be when you came back. If you'd feel. They brought you back. And now they're giving me a chance to find Farron. After two years, I hadn't even dreamed. No. Oh. Sounds like you and Farron were close. It's funny. He betrayed me more than once. <laughs> He was double dealing for Cerberus, for the Shadow Broker. But in the end, he sacrificed himself for me. I owe him. Don't get your hopes up. Hmm, that's mean. Any friend of yours is a friend of mine. What's the next step? I... I don't know. I need to prepare, to think. I'm going home. Use my terminal if you need any local intel. You okay? I've spent two years plotting revenge. Now I have the chance to make it a rescue. Let me help. I'll come by your apartment. Okay. Hopefully I'll have a plan by then. Thank you, Shepard. So... No further intel available, okay. So that's for later, then, I'm assuming? Oh, goody. Lair of the Shadow Broker. Take cab to Liara's. Can we take that cab alone? <laughs> Wait, no, the transportation is right over here. Listen, give Thax a full refund, do you hear me? Ooh. He knows, I don't know how, it doesn't matter. Credit him a full refund now. <laughs> and then get your ass someplace safe. Leave me alone, I can't talk to anybody. That says you, isn't it? <laughs> Liara's. take these still because even though I brought them with me before I uh, I didn't really get to use them so hopefully this is gonna be different but don't know Seal yet off those trace samples and get them back to the lab we got multiple shots fired yeah techs are going over the place now central we got an open carrier on this end switching to a coded relay what's going on This area is sealed off. Please step back, ma'am. Sealed off? Why? Someone tried to kill your friend, Commander Shepard. Thank you, officer. Your people are dismissed. You can't do that. 
already done. Who are you? Tila Vasir, Special Tactics and Recon. Ah. A Spectre? I heard your status was reinstated. Good. You're one of our most famous operatives. Might even get you to sign my chest plate. So, I assume you had business with your friend this evening, Commander. Liara was following a lead on the Shadow Broker. The Shadow Broker? Dangerous enemy to have. Hmm. Yeah, what happened? What are the facts so far? About 25 minutes ago, someone took a shot at Tissoni. Note the bullet holes. Yikes. She stuck around for almost four minutes before leaving the building. Whatever she was doing was important. Uh, okay. If Liara isn't here, where is she? If I knew that, I wouldn't be sifting through her crap. There's no blood, no body. It looks like Tassoni got away. The sniper didn't plan on her kinetic barrier. Clever girl. Paranoid. But clever. In her line of job, uh, she better be. Did the police find anything when they arrived? Just the mess and the bullet holes. I gave them a gold star for finding the bullet holes. <laughs> Sarcastic, aren't you? Liara was expecting me. She would have left a message here. Her office wasn't safe. I'm not surprised. Ilium is just Omega with expensive shoes. I haven't found anything useful for tracking her down yet. You knew Tassoni better than I do. Where would she have hidden her backups? Let me take a look around. Yeah, I'm not gonna tell you. I don't know myself. Like, you know you guys when uh, you're talking with someone, like a client of some sort? And then you get a question that you don't have or don't know the answer to. The best answer is, I'll get back to you. Looks like someone didn't like you much either. Tch. All right, bullet holes. The rifle used to do that wasn't standard issue. The kinetic barrier deflected the shots, but they still managed to penetrate the glass. Sheesh. Okay, what do we? What else? Do, ooh, hello. Yeah, that's not the Asari homeworld. I'm not sure what planet that is. It's oh, Ilos. yeah! Ilos, I was about to say. Hello? Anyone in the fridge? I haven't been here either yet. A doctorate from the University of Ceres, Avanthesia. She's getting good use out of all that education. <laughs> picture. Oh, is that me? Notch. I have a picture of her, and she has a picture of the Normandy. Oh my goodness. The picture changed when you touched it. It must be keyed to your ID. What does it show now? It's a Prothean dig site. Liara did leave a message. There are a few Prothean-looking objects around the apartment. Let's see what we can find. Those things must be worth a fortune. Yeah... I'd say. She was certainly into ugly. <laughs> Alright. Vasir, I've got something here. Backup disc. Let's try it on her terminal. It looks like she recorded a call. What have you got for me, Sigat? It was tricky, but you paid for the best. I can narrow it down to a cluster, maybe even a system. How soon can you have it? Shouldn't take long. Come to my office. Barrier Frontiers in the Dracon Trade Center. Gotta say, though, to Sony. You're making me a little nervous. How big is the trouble that could come out of this? Relax, Sikat. I'll see you in a few hours. Right. This must be important. The Shadow Broker's people already tried to kill her once. I know where the Dracon Trade Center is. My car's outside. Let's go. Will we all fit? I guess that would be four of us. Should be fine. Area Frontier's offices are located on the third floor. I don't hear police chatter. We must have missed the party. Liara, 
Hands in there! Oh. That's great. The they just took out three floors to make sure she's dead. I'll grab this guy car and seal off the building from the top. I'll start down here and work my way up. Just leave some for me. Oh my god, you guys. Hello. What happened? The blast knocked Injured civilian? Who are you? What's going on? Was it a bomb? What happened? What do you think it was? Someone please help me. Okay. Please exit the building in an orderly fashion. Is there anyone? Oh my god, so many people died. Elevator. That's the opposite Monsieur, way. The elevators are out and building security is down. No oh, okay. Arms, no police. Very professional. Serving industry for over 120 years. The 3A Trade Center takes Okay. Let's uh wait. Locker? Oh, there it is. Damn, that's a lot of credits. Area Frontier employee. So we got caught in the explosion. Eesh. What about her? What are we doing? Seven. I guess I should probably take him. Is he? Dying? He is dying. Dead. Casualty here. Looks like he's got bullet wounds. Watch yourself, Vizier. They used military grade hardware. Bullet wounds? Guess this was more than just an explosion. Okay. PDA! Nice. There's a good number of them here, and I don't know if I should be picking them up or not, because I don't know if I'll be coming back down this way. See, this is why I don't pick them up if I'm topped off, just in case I'm going to be going back the same way and I'll be empty. looking promising. Credits. That's useful. Okay. Excellent. Power cells. Thank you. Just 100 credits. Vizier, I found a military-grade explosive device. It hasn't been armed. Sloppy work. You use that kind of hardware when you don't have time to plan. Can we disarm it so it doesn't get armed? Vizier, I'm at the Beria Frontier's office. Liara signed in just a few minutes ago. Understood, Commander. Few minutes. That's not good.
Can we get you with this? No. He's dead. More coming? Or is it my people? Oh, they're here. Samari's here. Got you. Tally was here. Get ready to fight. Oh, hello, thank you. Get off their feet. Just searching. Where are my people? Okay, you are here. You should be able to get her, I think. Come to me. It didn't quite work. Ha <laughs> Um I kinda wanna set you on fire. And it did not work. Damn it. Oh, there's more. Uh how about you send your drone over there? I don't think I landed a single shot. Weapons ready. There's another one coming. <laughs> okay. You are getting hit. You can you like go here maybe? Oh be right there. Is this did he get hacked? Let's send off our drone over here, and maybe Samara can throw that person over there. Although I can't see if they got shields or not. Yeah, it doesn't really make sense for her to do that. Combat goes away. Ah. Ooh! Ah. Shit's on fire, yo. <laughs> I need to get rid of you! They are coming. Okay, that's Samara. I'll throw you. I guess I couldn't really. Oh! Ooh. Ah. 
Oh god. Okay. <laughs> I need my unity. Where's my unity? There. Enemy. I'm gonna die. Oof. Okay, let's put this here. One of them is being thrown. This one obstructed, but... Done. <coughs> One left? No, we're clear. Oh man. This is <laughs> useful. <coughs> Excuse me. I need to look around. Uh, nothing of note. <coughs> Jesus. I need to take a sip of my mango juice here. <laughs> One second. Alright, I feel better. <laughs> uh, at least for a little bit I can talk without coughing. So uh, let's, uh, let's move forward for a bit here. There's nowhere else I can go, right? For now. That's it's a lot here. of fire. These damaged pipes are on fire. They're blocking the stairs. Look for a switch to activate the fire suppressant systems. Oh, how about element zero? <laughs> Got it. Should be clear now. Perfect. I'm on my way down. Machinery. I appreciate that every salvage that I pick up is automatically turned into credits. Oh god. Okay. Drone is already picked up. So can we do you and throw you? Good. Anyone else? Not quite. Good. Terminal. What's oh, this? Ooh. That's useful. I hardly use it anymore, but I kind of probably should, honestly, in this situation. What? Are you a person? It looks like a person. Oh god, yeah, that's a person. I thought they were facing this way. All right. Okay, who are you? We might up with her. Oh, that's good, I guess. Damn it. If I'd have been a few seconds faster, I could have stopped them. Is this a cat? Must have been. No I don't trust that, that talked about. chick. Looks like a dead end. Uh, speaking of which, did you find your friend's body? 
You mean this body? Yeah. I don't think she's a friend, but I'm going to say it anyway. Liara, this is Vizier. She's a specter. This is the woman who tried to kill me. You've had a rough day, so I'll let that slide. Why don't you put that gun down? I saw you. I doubled back after I left. I watched you break into my apartment. Ooh. You didn't know where Liara went because she hid the message. You needed me to find it for you. Thanks for the help. Once she had my location, she signaled the Shadow Broker's forces. They bombed the building to take me out. She found Sakat, took his data, and killed him. I'm guessing she's still got the disc on her. Let's kill her. I guess. Not that you'll ever see what's on it. You pure blood Samara, where are you where I need you? Where would we be without an unnecessary slide or a backflip? Spotted. Okay, she's got it already. Um, you need to be thrown. This will occupy them. Impressive shot. He's not dead. What the fuck? Do we got any more? Do anything with you. I saw what you were trying to do. I need more. More clips. See, this is just what I was talking about. Like, if I didn't take that med kit, or those two med kits when I didn't need them, I would have had a chance to use them right now. She's getting away. We're trying. Is this timed? There. <laughs> You are here. What is it? Okay, oh, you're good. Oh god. <laughs> okay. Can you get this one again? Good. Oh, they just keep coming. No, oh, okay. Not good. Not good either. Put them where we need them. No one to hack. 
one down. He's frozen, but not dead. Got you. Out. Completely out. There is a big one. That guy? I don't think you can even reach him. They should soften them up. I'm out. Good thing I have other weapons. Okay. Not quite dead there. Tali's got this one. This one, I think, is almost dead. Ah, well, not for long, I guess. How are we doing? Looks like we're clear for now. Now, can I get some clips, please? No, none for me. Still closed, huh? Okay. I think we're almost out. I would appreciate some thermal clips. I think I see one. Yeah. Good. But no more than that. Which is surprising. But, no matter. We're okay. She got away, didn't she? <laughs> Her head is so exposed. Samara or Tali? Oh, shoot. Tali. Come on, she's getting away! We could fit all four of us in the other car. Oh my god, there what? She is. No wait left. I'm on her. Hang a left. How do I go up? She's around the corner. They're not going into the construction site, are they? Oh god. I'm not letting her escape with that data. Go, 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 go! I'm going! Come on, loverbirds. Traffic! Oncoming traffic! We'll be fine. We'll be fine. She's dropping proximity charges. I noticed. Thanks. <laughs> you okay? Shit. She's got reinforcements. What kind of Where am I? Does this thing have? It's a taxi. It has a fare meter. Wonderful. <laughs> Truck. I know. Truck. I know. <laughs> there we go. You're enjoying this. I am not enjoying this. Collision at this speed. Yeah, I knew this would be bad for you. Yikes! Truck! Big yikes! Again. Watch out! Oh my god!
Oh, she's alive! After that! <clears throat> I've crashed on Azure. Get me some damn backup. My goodness. Watch out! They're dropping reinforced. There's Vizier's car. Come on, she can't have gotten far. There's Where Vizier's are we going? Car. Come on, she can't have gotten far. Enemy combat drone. How about our combat drone? Can't see. What is this? Singularity? Yes, please. Yeah. Oh shit. I don't know what I wanted, thank you. Good. I am completely out. Ah, uh, what gun am I on? This one? Good. Hiding. Oh god. This is not a good place to hide. Thank you. Good. Good, good, good. Of course. Uh, that is the wrong spot for it. Okay. Not a lot of ammo left. Ah, shoot. There they are. Bad. Oh my god. Should I just go? Neutralize the drone. Bank terminal. That's one way to is that, I guess. I don't know where to go. Should I just stand my ground, I guess? Watch out, flashbangs. Let's do this, I guess. Did I hit Liara? Neutralize the drone. <laughs> All right. I guess this is what I'm doing. Next. Oh, 
They're under control. Are we good? Can I get some ammo, please? Thermal clips, whatever. You still here? God. You've been spotted. Thank you. Oh my god, they're all dead. They're using combat drones. Thank you for letting me know. What am I doing? Do they really just keep coming? Come on, we can climb over to get to visit. <gasps> Thermal clips, please. Anywhere. <laughs> Ah, uh, Liara, there you are. Where are you going? Oh, great. At least I got some... some thermal clips. Safe? Priorities. <laughs> oh my goodness. <laughs> okay, I was hearing some conversation. I'm guessing this is where I need to go. Yeah. Anything else? What kind of hotel is this? <laughs> Azure. It's a luxury resort with an exotic edge. Azure is slang for a part of the Asari body in some areas of Ilium. Where? Mainly the lower reaches, near the bottom. I meant where on the Asari body. So did I. Uh, Tali, are you uncomfortable we're yet? We didn't see anything. <laughs> okay. Power cells. All right. Guess we just keep going. Uh, let me switch back to my normal, please. Camera control is wonky, isn't it? She's lost a lot of blood. We have to be getting close. She's tough, I'll give her that much. She's a specter. Ah. Oh my. Bedroom? Weapons locker. That's a good place for it. Uh, okay. I'm guessing this is where we need to go. No? Wait a second, what? Confusion. Is it up above?
maybe? This is the only door. Right. There we are. What are you doing? Oh, you're bleeding profusely. Vizier, it's over. those people that you want to live please uh we'll get you out of here safely mariana well that's good to hear all you had to do was walk away now it gets ugly please i have a son a son i hope he gets to see you again i've heard losing a parent is just horrific for children scars them for life I'm going to end you, Vizier. It's okay, Liara. We'll handle it. The usual way. You want Mariana's little boy to grow up without a mommy, Shepard? Thermal clips on the ground now. Power cells, too. I mean, I am kind of a... a sniper. Just saying. Is that it? What? Vizier, I sacrificed hundreds of human lives to save the Destiny Ascension. I unleashed the Rachni on the galaxy. So for your sake, I hope your escape plan doesn't hinge on me hesitating to shoot a damn hostage. You're bluffing. Table Alia. to the head! Mariana, I didn't mean it. Watch out. me. She's up there. That's great. <laughs> oh my gosh. There they are. Of course. Tally can't attack it. Because there's a shield. shooting at you? That person. Okay. Neutralize the drone. Go get them, Tatika. 
I love it that the drone has a name. Can I shoot you now? Good. Miss me? Ah, you again. Watch out, Chuckwave. Yeah. Staying back. That didn't help me much. Taking heavy fire! Jesus. Watch out, shockwave. Where are you? Again. There you are. I'll send them flying. No, 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 no. Watch out, shockwave. <laughs> <gasps> <gasps> <laughs> I knew she was going to get me. Man. Miss me? Okay, let's see what we can do. This is a, I I should have brought some Lara. Watch out, shockwave. Can't see her. Shockwave, take cover. Oh, 
Stay back, shockwave. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. No? Not you either. Oh, there you are. Is that not you again? gonna kill me, isn't it? Shockwave. Mm. Ah! Did I get any of her armor? I did, I think. Okay, let's do this. She's right there! That did not heal me. There. Oh my god. This jumping around, I did not enjoy. There she is. She's gonna kill me again, I think. Yep. She shot right for me. <laughs> okay, where do we start? you myself enemies incoming that that her that is her she's gonna do that again Jesus Christ, lady. right there. But. Stay back, shockwave. Can't. Can't stay. This is a tough one. This is so tough. <laughs> Where are you now? What? Did I send you there? 
stay back. I did. Okay, why don't you go over here, actually? And I... Let's see if I can get you with this. Shockwave! Ah! I'm on it! Oh. <sighs> She's gonna kill me again, isn't she? Died. Me? Oof. Where are you now? I need to charge my shields. This is her. Yes, she's frozen. Not for long. They're under control. Oh my gosh, we might do it. I'm shooting her in the crotch and I don't feel sorry. Holy shit. <laughs> oh, damn it. Damn it. Sakat's personal data pad. This has what we need to find the Shadow Broker. You're dead. The Shadow Broker has been in power for decades. He's stronger than anything you've ever faced. Is that why you sold out the Council to work for him? You think I betrayed the Council? Like Saren? Go to hell. The Broker's given me damn good intel over the years. Intel that saved lives and kept the Citadel safe. So if the Broker needs a few people to disappear, I'll pay that price without hesitation. I don't... Eh, there are limits. Spectres I gotta say. don't blow up buildings filled with innocent people. Sure we do. We get our hands dirty so the Council doesn't have to. The Councillors might complain about our methods to soothe their consciences, but they never look too closely. Besides, you're with Cerberus. You have any idea what your terrorist friends have done? I do, actually. I have a very good idea. That's why I don't like them. Also, she's not wrong about what Spectres do. I just don't agree with it. I know who they are and what they've done. It doesn't matter. I think it does. You want to judge me? Look in the mirror. Kidnapping kids for biotic death camps. Hell, your own unit on a coos. And you're with them. Don't you dare judge me. Oh. Don't you. Eliminate the Sony and retrieve the data. Civilian casualties not a concern. Vizier's dead. I'm putting the data through to the Normandy's computers. We can be at the Shadow Broker's base in a few hours. He'll know about Vizier before long. If he decides to kill Farron. We'll get Farron out of there alive, Liara. I promise. I know. You're here to help. Just like always. That's not a good thing. When we first met on Therum, you saved me from the Geth. You fought a Krogan Battlemaster while I cowered. Now you're doing it again. And I'm still leaning on you for help. Is that That's bad? What friends do, Liara. Yeah. You need to I learn to accept help. Cat's data. The Normandy stealth drive will keep them from detecting us. The Shadow Broker's agents are still shooting their way through Ilium. With luck, they won't notice we've left until it's too late. It's a little cold. They killed innocent people. You know what I mean. Do I? When I hit the ground back at the Trade Center, you went after Vizier without a backward look. A little fall wasn't going to kill you. I had to stay on Vizier. I had to stay rational, make the call, like I did with Sakat. That's Vizier's fault, not yours. 
Wars. Sigat had no idea what the stakes were. I put him in harm's way to get the data I needed. I got him killed. And I'd do it again. But from here on out, things will be simple. Get in, get Farron, get out. And kill anyone who tries to stop us. That's we it. Are, uh... That's it. We just stop for a second. We'll be jumping several light years. There's time to talk. About what? Our relationship. I don't know if now is the time, but I guess. About us. Shepard, listen, I'm glad you're here. You worried there might be terminals you need me to hack? That's not fair. You were dead. I came back. It's not that easy. You can't just come back and have two years of mourning suddenly vanish. I'm sorry, Shepard. I can't get into this. For now, let's just focus on getting Farron back. Fine. This is a little inconsistent, isn't it? Unless I'm misunderstanding something. So she said that she was the one who brought my body to Cerberus in the first place. So she knew I wasn't dead, or at least there's a very good chance that I wasn't dead. And she still went into full on mourning and moving on process. That's a little weird. I don't know if I appreciate that. Hmm. Yeah, she's grown up quite a bit. Um, I'm gonna bring you girls again. Wait, I can only do one? I guess so. Oh, well, that's fine. At one point. And two here. And I can put points into Liara? Whoa, I did not expect that. Stasis. Do I get this power? Um, Liara spends time developing her biotic abilities, further reducing the recharge time of her powers. Uh, yes, please. Stasis creates a powerful mass effect shield, a field that immobilizes the target for a few seconds, preventing all actions and making it immune to damage. Stasis bypasses all resistances, but targets become more resistant the longer they are exposed to its effect. This resistance fades over time. This is awesome. I want this too. Singularity was pretty good. Mass Effect field damages enemy targets and stops health regeneration. Yes, please. Uh, I want more of that. <laughs> I think we're good. Sunset, completely undetectable in the storm, unless you know where to look. How do we get inside? The shuttle bay is locked down. We'll need to land on the ship and hunt for a hatch. I can't stay outside for long. There's a constant lightning storm where the hot and cold air collide. Her eyes are so blue. from a communications array near the back of the ship. There's nothing below but maintenance equipment. We have to find an entrance near the back shielding. All right, guys. Um, I hate to do this, but uh, this episode has been a pretty long one already. So I think I am going to break this up now. And uh, we will pick this up next time 
finish it up and we'll probably get sucked into another major story mission so uh yeah this has been a doozy <laughs> i think if i didn't get distracted by a couple of missions left over on ilium that i had to take care of before starting this one i would have been able to probably fit it into a single episode but squirrels won that war a long time ago so this is what we have to live with and i hope you guys don't mind and as well i hope that you guys enjoyed watching me go through this mission it was a tough one that battle with um oh man i am so bad with names but with the specter that we just went through was brutal for me i just i was finding it so difficult to reorient myself because the radar is not always on so i need to like press the button or find her on my screen somewhere before i get hit by one of her super strong abilities again so it was very disorienting for me and uh on top of that she's just very strong <laughs> so yeah i'm glad we got through it in the end albeit with a few deaths along the way but I am still very much enjoying the harder difficulty and uh, this mission is quite something. I I kind of expected some sort of a relationship crisis, but I can't say that this is how I pictured it. So uh, good job game on surprising me yet again and I'm sure there's going to be plenty more opportunities and occasions when that's going to happen over and over. Anyway, uh, if you did enjoy the episode, please consider leaving me a like and subscribing, and I hope to see you in the next episode of Mass Effect, Lair of the Shadow Broker. <laughs> Bye now.